Hi guys, I'm Zoe from Zoe's Fancy Cakes. Today I thought we'd have another go at making a doll cake. I've not made one for a while and I really wanted to have a go at Princess Peach. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more videos. So I'm gonna start by sticking my cake to a white cake board. And I've dyed my cake pink in color. I just used some color mail and I actually used a doll pan or a doll kind of skirt shaped pan for this one, but I'll put links below the video to everything that I use so you can see exactly what what's in there, what it's made from. So I've just put some buttercream between the layers and I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit. So I've got a really thin layer of buttercream all the way around the edge. And then I'm gonna cover the whole thing in white chocolate ganache. Now you can just use buttercream if you want, but I always find the ganache is nice and firm. And the doll that we're gonna make for this is pretty firm. So ganache is gonna hold the weight a little bit better than if I'd just done it in buttercream. So I've just shaped it slightly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it in pink fondant. Now, don't worry if it doesn't quite reach the bottom, it will stretch as you're pulling it down. And then I'm just gonna press in at where I kind of cut into the cake a little bit underneath. And I'm gonna put a dowel in. It only needs to be a thin one. And this is gonna go right to the base and then I'm gonna cut it off so it's level with the top of my cake. And this is just so that when I put the doll in, it will insert into that. And then she's not coming into direct contact with the cake, although she is gonna be made from icing anyway. So her body is just made with pink modeling paste. I'm gonna stick it on a straw and you'll see it slides into the other dowel that we put in earlier. So I'm gonna use some bright pink or some fuchsia colored fondant for this bit because this is gonna to stick to her skirt and we're gonna create kind of the top side bits of her dress. So I'm just gonna use a small round cookie cutter to cut out a little bit it will sit next to her waist and I'm going to push these onto there. So push them as tight as you can next to the body. Now you can tell the fondant is really soft so we're just going to use this for the dress part and we'll swap to model and paste when we do her body. So I've rolled a bit that's thicker at the bottom, slightly thinner as it's sort of coming up towards the top of the dress. Well not the top of the dress but coming further up the dress. It will mean it sticks out more at the bottom which is what we're after. So I'm just pushing a wooden skewer through this straw that runs through her body. It's going right down through the hole in the cake as well, or the dowel in the cake. That's so that the head will sit onto that. And then the skewers aren't coming into contact with the cake. I've got a bit of pale skin tone modeling paste that we're just gonna wrap around the neck. So let's make a little collar for the dress. I've just used a couple of cookie cutters to create this little edge. And I'm gonna use some more modeling paste. Again, it's a pale skin tone color. This is the Saracino paste, so it's pretty firm. I have to cut it into small pieces to get it going. I do sometimes put it in the microwave as well, not for long, just a little bit, just to heat it up. And then I'm gonna push a polystyrene ball into the head. Now it is gonna mean we're not gonna be able to eat her head, but that's fine, most people don't wanna eat modeling paste anyway. You can also use modeling chocolate for this face as well if you prefer, guys, but I find the modeling paste slightly easier than the modeling chocolate when I'm doing faces. So I've pushed in some eye sockets, I've cut out like a hole for the mouth, pushed in a nose, and then let's put some white modeling paste in the eyes. We're gonna paint on some lips, and I'm just using edible powder mixed with clear alcohol for those lips. We want a thin bit of black modeling paste to go around the outer edge of her eye. Now I did ask on social media what or who you thought I was making at this stage uh, when I was making the face for Princess Peach. A lot of people thought I was making my partner um, dressed as a woman, but it is Princess Peach they were making. And you notice I did print off a picture in the background uh, just so that I had a rough size scale for when I was making this one. It really helps if I've got something printed off or something to look at, just to make sure I'm getting it right proportion-wise. I still don't usually get it right proportion-wise, but better than what I would have without having a picture to hand. So some bits I'm gonna to have to paint on where I will struggle to roll the modeling paste small and thin enough. So we're gonna paint on her eyelashes and her brows are on. And then we're gonna push that head onto those wooden skewers. And I'm just putting an extra one at the back of her head just to support her head because it is fairly heavy. 
polystyrene ball inside her head as well should help keep it upright and stop it squishing down the body into the cake because it is fairly heavy. Then let's just make her a little brooch for the front of her dress. If it's a brooch, I'm not sure, is it a brooch? You can tell I don't really play a lot of Super Mario, but I do like the characters. So you'll notice my book in the background. I just love the artwork from it. I buy a lot of art of books and this was like an art Super Mario book and it really did inspire me to have a go at making Princess Peach. So we've got two balls on for her sleeves. Now I've used the modeling paste again, you could probably get away with fondant for that, but I've used modeling paste. We've got some cocktail sticks stuck in there ready for where the arms are gonna go in place as well. Remember, no, no one's gonna eat her head or her body. In fact, it would probably be my dad eating this one. My dad eats most of my cakes. So we're gonna stick the top part of her arm on. And then the bottom part of her arm, we're gonna actually make in white because she wears long gloves. I have actually just started trying to play Super Mario on my Switch. I'm not very good at it. I'm not really very good at any computer games, to be honest. I just like the look of all the characters. Okay, so let's make us some hair. So we're going for fairly big, chunky pieces. Let me put some lines in there. Let's put some side pieces on as well. Again, this is modeling paste that I'm using, and I'll put below the video links to everything that I have used. If you guys have any suggestions for any future tutorials or videos, anyone you want to see me make in future videos or anything cake decorating related that you want to learn, that you'd like to see on this channel, then let me know in the comments below, guys. So this was the hardest shape to create, was like that front piece of hair. And then a little crown. So again, using modeling paste, we've got lots of triangles into the top of a strip. And then we want to roll some balls of blue and red for the jewels. And then we're gonna stick a little strip. So I'm rolling it nice and thin around the bottom and the top, leaving like a little gap kind of in the middle. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're gonna stick on our ovals and just put a sausage shape of yellow around each one. Stick it in some earrings. They're just sprinkles that I've stuck in for earrings. And then we're just gonna blend her arm at the elbow joint. And there she is, all finished. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And link in the comments below uh, any future cakes you want to see me make, any more Mario characters or doll cakes. Let me know what you guys like to see me make and I'll see you next time.